Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a free shipping promotion or coupon code. Note for those of you that are wondering whether you should enable the free shipping method in uh, system configuration, this is not uh, needed. In fact, if you uh, enable that method, you will basically enable uh, free shipping throughout your entire store, uh, even if uh, the promotion isn't active. So this is not something you'd want to do even though I've read that in an article. Instead what you want to do is you just simply want to go to promotions and click on shopping cart price rules. Once on this page you simply click on add new rule and then you give your uh, rule a uh, name. In this case it's going to be free shipping. And now a description. This is of course for your own uh, records. whether the status of the promotion is active, in this case it is, the customer groups that you'd like to offer uh, the free shipping to. In my case, I will offer free shipping to um, retail customers and these are my retail customers here. Do you want to offer a coupon code or no coupon code? With no coupon code, it is basically a free shipping promotion that is applied to the shopping cart automatically. So uh, people can, just about anyone that shops on your store uh, can get that promotion. With a coupon, you would just enter in a coupon code. In my case, I'll just enter in free shipping. You can also have the coupon code auto-generated if you'd like. Personally, I don't like uh, using the auto-generation feature because uh, it just doesn't look readable. Uses per coupon, the amount of times that someone can uh, use this uh, coupon. Uh, uses per customer, the amount of times that a specific customer can use the coupon. Uh, date, basically the date that you would like uh, the coupon to uh, start uh, being active. For example, I can set it for one month. And uh, the priority, this is again for your information, if you're running uh, more than uh, one promotion and if you'd like certain promotions to be uh, shown at the top and others at the bottom, you would uh, enter in uh, a low number for the ones that you'd like to show up at the top and a higher number for those that you'd like to show up at the bottom. Uh, would you like to make this uh, promotion public in your RSS feed? If you want uh, people to uh, see the promotion in your RSS feed, you would basically have it at yes. If not, you would have it at no. Conditions. Here you basically uh, enter in conditions for the promotion. In my case, I'd like to enter in a condition as far as shipping method is concerned. So I simply select shipping method and then I click on these dots here and I select the shipping method that I would like free shipping to be applied to. In this case, I would like it to be applied to flat rate fixed. And then I can also limit um, to a specific country. For example, I only want to allow free shipping in the United States. So again, I click on these dots and I select United States from the list. And now I go to actions and here what I do is I just make sure that I uh, select the action that I would like. For example, I would like to enable free shipping so I just select free shipping for matching items only. Now if I'd like to uh, limit free shipping to certain uh, conditions, what I do here is I add other conditions as far as uh, the price in cart, quantity in cart, or uh, I can even set um, category or I can even uh, specify a specific item that I would like to offer free shipping on. In this video I'm just going to offer free shipping uh, throughout the entire store. And labels, this is uh, how you would like uh, the promotion to be shown to customers. In my case it will be free shipping coupon. And then I cl simply click on save. And now I simply uh, test out the coupon. So here I have an item in my cart and I enter in the coupon code, apply coupon and as you can see the promotion has been applied successfully. Note that in order for the coupon code to work uh, your conditions must be met. For example, 
we set flat rate fixed and uh, the shipping country as United States only for the coupon code. So this is why the coupon code works. But if I were to change the shipping method and then try to add the coupon code, I would basically get an error that states uh, that the free shipping coupon is uh, not valid. And same goes for the country. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com.